This video is a bot that we produced for a mortgage company. It will start with Steven, who is an admin, logging into the control center. From here, he is going to click to schedule an automated process to run. When the process begins, it will load up Outlook and start to take action by checking email that it is monitoring. The bot is accessing the new request folder and it will process these emails in the order they were received. In order to successfully categorize these emails, it analyzes the subject and message body using natural language processing and it will then determine what it needs to do with this email based on the results. For this last email, the bot sees that this involves a loan application. The bot is going to download and save this PDF to the dedicated machine's hard drive, and then it's going to move the email to the loan request folder. Next, what the bot is going to do is open the PDF and use computer vision to analyze areas of interest on the form and extract important data from this form. As you see the boxes flashing on the form, you are seeing the bot read the loan form and locate different fields in this form that it wants to process. Finally, it will extract the information into memory. Next up, Mike is going to be logging into the control center. Mike is a human manager for our client's company and he's going to monitor a business process. As we can see here, he's monitoring many different processes, but he chooses to access the loan underwriting process. From here, he can see that there is loan application data entry activity that needs to be completed. Up next, we're going to have Jacob log into the control center. For clarification, Jacob is a human user. What he is going to do is take action on the loan application data entry task. This task requires Jacob to log into the control center and either correct or confirm the information that our bot has extracted from the loan form previously. As you can see here, Jacob can review all of the content and also get a really clear idea of where the data was extracted from the form. Next, we're going to see another automated task where our bot is going to take the extracted data from the form, which was just confirmed by Jacob a few moments ago, and the bot is actually going to enter the information into the loan origination system. This loan origination system is made up of a couple of different apps. First is a web-based application, and the other is a legacy application. Next, the bot is going to access Outlook again and check the Appraisal Requests folder. Here, it sees that it has an appraisal report. So the bot is going to open, save, and download the appraisal report information and then continue to move it into the appropriate appraisal request folder. Next, we will have Alice log into the control center, a human admin, and she will access another task that relates to the appraisal reports. The bot had already extracted all of the necessary information, and Alice is double checking all of that information. Once it looks good, she can go ahead and complete the task and take a look at what's next in this business process diagram. Lastly, the bot will take some more action on this loan form by generating a prediction as to whether or not this application is going to be valid. We were able to build a model with historical data taken from past bot usage for this mortgage company that allows the bot to predict whether the form is fraudulent or not. 
Here in the green, we can see a confidence score of 98.6%, which will trigger the loan underwriter to be intrigued and excited by this application. Michael, the loan underwriter, is going to approve this task and pass the application to the next step of the process.